guys welcome back to my channel you're watching at home with troy i am troy of course and in today's video what we are going to do is decorate for christmas and what we are decorating are my two trees yes you heard me right i have two trees one in my living room and one in my dining room we'll be decorating those trees and we will be getting up all the christmas decor in my main living area the living room and my dining room my home has an open concept type of layout so yeah we're gonna get that uh, decorated today and as you can tell from uh, the uniform on <laughs> in most of my videos that i have already done for decorating we're gonna do it in the buffalo check theme so you guys i hope you're here for a ton of motivation for the holidays for some ideas and some just a couple of really simple hacks that i use when i decorate but before I get too far in the video, I want to let you guys know that this is a collaboration with one of another decorating addict, especially for the holidays, Alicia from Alicia B Styles. So you guys, I want you all to know that Alicia has the most amazing content over on her page. She is a decorating addict like myself and her fall, her Christmas, her Halloween decor is always a showstopper. She is also a business owner and runs a shop called Creatively Hers. And you guys should definitely check her out when you're done with this video. So you guys, now that we've got introductions out of the way, we've got all that fluff done, let's get down to decorating these Christmas trees. So starting out, of course, I already have my tree up and fluffed. And if I can give you any tip, it would be to fluff your tree as much as you possibly can. Um, you all can see that my tree is a little sparse. It's quite a few years old. We've had it for... Um, at least five I'd say and we got it from Walmart it was just a run-of-the-mill tree I think it's about six feet nothing special but um, as sad as it looks right now it would look even sadder if it wasn't properly fluffed so you guys make sure you fluff it as much as you possibly can and try to fill in all the little spaces by making the branches go up down and side to side So as y'all can see, I'm just putting these lights on and that is the most painstakingly part of the process. Um, I know I've said this in years past, but let me tell y'all, when my ship comes in, I am getting me a pre-lit tree for sure. Next up, the ribbon, you guys. So um, what I am doing with my Buffalo Check ribbon is I am just going... Um, Diagonal, I guess you can call it if you can go diagonal on a circle and cylinder type of shape I'm just trying to go diagonal and I am tucking The um, ribbon into the tree with just a little bit of the branches to hold it tight Just you know wrapping the ribbon around the branch and kind of like pinching some of the branches And I'm trying to make it have a billowing look trying to um, you know floof it out not to pull it too taunt um, Nothing too complicated just cutting as I get down to the bottom but as I said, yeah, just taking a branch, wrapping it around it because my ribbon does have wire edges as well as the branches and just giving it a little bit of a poof. Next up, you guys, it's going to be putting on the ornaments. Now that one that you just saw was a oldie but goodie from the Dollar Tree in years past. Um, right now I'm going in with some large red um, ornaments because um, I'm trying to fill in those little sparse places. So that's just a little hack for you guys. If you have any big ornaments or any that are really shiny, stick them inside the tree and the lights will reflect the light and it'll be so beautiful at night and it'll also fill in those empty spaces where some branches are missing. So now that I got a ton of the ornaments on, I'm going to work on my tree topper. And this year, I decided just to go and make one myself. Um, you all know I've got the buffalo check theme going on. So I've got these antlers from Walmart, as well as um, a lot of this um, greenery. A couple of pieces from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going in and just putting like the little snowy frosted branches behind the antlers. I'm going to go in with these um, glitter ones as well, just to give it a little spark sparkle whenever the lights are on at night. So in case you guys were wondering, I am not um, 
sentimental I guess when it comes to my Christmas tree I like it to look a certain way so I don't do a lot of um handmade ornaments and my kids don't help me decorate um I do give them their little 12 inch tree from the Dollar Tree and I let them do that on their own in their rooms um my oldest she's not really into that anymore but um my younger ones still are and please don't wag your finger at me I know that a lot of people want the decorating the tree to be a family experience but I like the aesthetic of it so um that's not one family experience that we have we have a ton of them throughout the holiday but decorating the tree is not one of them so you guys here is my tree I am so satisfied with how my tree topper came out this is my first year ever making one on my own I really love how everything came together and it was super coordinated and of course that skirt is absolutely gorgeous So you guys, on to decorating the living room. I put a few floor arrangements in my lanterns. That's not how I'll end up, that's not where I'll end up leaving them. But for now, when I was just, you know, moving things around, I thought that it would look good there. I'm hanging up my DIY garland. And um, just as a suggestion, you guys, please invest in command strips this season for all of your decorating that's going to be on your walls because you will be so happy that you didn't damage it by putting holes in it, having the sand and plaster it later. Um, command strips do add up if you have quite a few decorations, but just look at it as an investment. You'll be using those command strips over and over again throughout the years. Right now, I'm a little bit on the struggle bus. <laughs> One of my strips fell down and I had to get another piece of, you know, sticky backing to stick it up there. But I muddled on through and I got it done. So this is a rough part of decorating and by rough I just mean you know I'm a little bit indecisive about where I want things just trying to position it where I think it looks good maybe moving some different frames that I think will go better with the Christmas aesthetic but um, I really enjoy the process even though it's a little bit time consuming I'm still having a good time. So you guys, I decided to move the floor arrangements over here on the bookshelf and I really liked how it turned out. I just think it balanced the shelves better. So you guys, the living room is now complete. I took this a floor arrangement that I made by myself and just put that over here on the side table. The garland is up and my liquor cabinet is decorated exactly how I like it. Um, I just took a little extra pieces from, you know, the Christmas decoration stash that I had on the kitchen table and just added it over here. And um, you guys, I can't wait till this evening to burn this candle. It's gonna smell so good and so Christmassy. So what I decided to do over here in the lanterns is simply just put candles in it. I just thought um, in the evening when I would turn them on, it would just look so nice and just cozy and peaceful. And um, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Um, I have a remote to go to my candles where I can turn the color, turn them on and off as I'm sitting on the couch and uh, to not burn the battery all evening. So you guys, I wanna show you a quick trick where I take old boxes out of my recycling and out of my garage, and then I turn them in to these really cute fake gifts, and then I put them under the tree. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, outfit change, day number two. Um, we are gonna get started on that uh, Christmas tree right here, the one in my dining room. And um, the theme is gonna be exactly the same, the buffalo check. Um, I want this tree to look a little bit more country-ish, if that makes sense, a little more primitive, um, not as done up. Um, I don't like a lot of done up trees in this type of theme anyway. Like if I had a glam tree, I probably would have, you know, just doused it with ornaments and things of that nature. But because it's like more of a country, rustic type of theme, I wanted it to be just a little bit more sparse, a little bit more simplistic. Um, so this one is going to be even more so 
almost primitive, you could say, with a couple of, you know, matching, you know, ornaments and things like that. And um, a little bit more, more with the woodsy type of feel. So you guys, let's get started on that. So you guys, as I showed you, the first thing I did was throw on those uh, chasing lights. And I just put one string of lights. As I said, I want this to be a little, um, primitive and a little country and sparse so i didn't like overdo it with anything so um i'm just going in with these um ornaments that i got from hobby lobby the berry ones if you all remember my from my um haul video i'm so in love with them and i think i'm gonna buy a couple more next year hopefully they'll still have them So you guys, um, even though it's the second day of my decorating, I love to do it when my children are not home. Now that is always a tradition that I do because I love seeing their face when they walk in the door of all the Christmas decor, whether um, it's in the kitchen, wherever I start for that year or the entryway. I just love seeing them be like, oh, wow, you know, it's all done up, mom. You're like, you finished it and things like that. So um, I'm really excited to see when I was decorating to see what they were going to say when they came home. And um, of course, the kids loved it. But my youngest, he was so funny. We have a really large picture of Santa hanging right here in the dining room. And he was like, Mom, Santa's looking at me. It was the cutest little thing. So you guys, here's my tree all completed. I'm really happy with how it turned out. As you can see, I did go back and I added the buffalo check ribbon. I thought that it needed to be tied into the theme specifically. And I really like how this came out, nice and simple. You're probably wondering why I do not have a tree topper up there. Each year, my kids take turns topping the tree. And since they were at school, I had to wait until they come home. So you guys, after that much needed break to lift my spirits, I decided to jump right back into it. And I'm putting this uh, table runner down and I've had it for quite a few years now. And it's, you know, the perfect pattern for this year's theme. I'm gonna sit down and do this really, really simple DIY. I bought this wreath and I got it from Big Lots for about $15. This is more than I've ever paid for a wreath. But the reason I did it was because I didn't want to drive all the way across town and spend $7 in gas. So I just went on and spent it on the wreath that was ready made. I just added the greenery to it because I wanted it to be similar to the one that I made for the kitchen. So on to the next very quick DIY are my kiddo stocking tags. So um, I got these metal tags from the Dollar Tree and they come two to a pack. And um, I also got this white chalk marker from them as well. And I'm just writing the kid's name on it super simple, nothing too fancy, just giving it a little extra flair um, as far as the font. I saw it, you know, online and decided to copy it. And these are gonna be the kid's stocking tags this year. Super simple. So you guys, here is the dining room all complete. Our picture of Santa, my garland is up on the dining room window as well. And our second Christmas tree all finished and taken care of. Now I wanna show you guys this scent. It's called Christmas Morning and I picked this up from Big Lots. It smells amazing. It's like a Christmas tree in cinnamon and vanilla all mixed together. I absolutely love it.
so if you've made it to the end of my video i want to thank you guys so much i really appreciate you if you are coming from alicia's channel thank you so much please hit that subscribe button before you go i hope that i gave you guys a lot of inspiration for this upcoming season and maybe for next year's as well if you are one of my subscribers please definitely go over to alicia and show her some love i hope to see you on the next one bye